All right, guys. Uh, we will discuss about uh, top gainer uh, stocks. Uh, so here I can see first. Uh, let's see the Nifty behavior. Uh, as we discussed earlier, uh, just a minute. Okay, as we discussed earlier, and that was a resistance. All right, that was a resistance, and we was looking for buy after giving a pullback. All right, so here I can see the first resistance and I finally hit this diagonal line so where I drawn by connecting these two swing point and that uh, that is form as a resistance and we are looking for a pullback in a small time frame and exactly we are looking for buy that was our first buy opportunity and the next buy opportunity was here after breaking this resistance all right in a small time frame okay now let's jump to a small time frame okay now here you can see first the h1 and uh, 15 minutes now you can see here all right and now here you can see price uh, uh, first you must know the market behavior all right so see here price are bouncing off uh, moving average 20 uh, and uh, 50 okay so this one here you can see price was bouncing off 20 20 and the 20 next that they are bouncing off 50 and right now you can see price exactly near previous higher point almost so what is our buy opportunity so first you must know which moving average they are following so here you can see 20 and 50 they are following 20 and 50 exponential moving average this one 20 and this one 50 so in that case we are looking for buy and we need a buy confirmation exactly near 20 moving average or 50 moving average and right now here you can see we have seen this is the buy confirmation this is the bullish spin bar they are forming and I exactly place my buy order somewhere here today I place my buy and let's see if price open in a gap up I close my position suddenly all right and if price drop to this level and I'll uh, close my position so my exit point is just below this uh, lower point and uh, this little more above this previous higher point so that is my um, exit point and another opportunity I'm looking for if uh, if price drop tomorrow to the level of uh, sorry uh, near moving average 50 definitely I'll go for buy so I'm focusing on a buy direction and then let's see some top gainer stocks first here you can see MM Mahindra and Mahindra okay let's see here Mahindra and Mahindra MM okay where is that one yeah this one Mahindra and Mahindra uh, first see daily time frame so right now you can see Mahinda and Mahinda uh, price are too far from moving average so I'm not looking for buy anymore all right it is a probability to give a correction all right now you can see price are bouncing off uh, uh, 50 moving average uh, 50 moving average I place uh, I trade in option here I think uh, for five days ago here exactly i place a uh, call spread i bought at the money here and uh, i sold uh 970 was somewhere here so that is option so you can check my youtube channel i already published about that okay now you can see here uh, i'm not looking for buy because a uh, price are uh, impulsive web so i never trade in Im impulsive web so most of the people are thinking what is that so this we have called impulse this is called corrective this is called impulse this is called corrective and right now impulse all right so i don't wanna buy so i always looking for buy after giving a pullback and when press start uh, i place my buy order before start uh, impulsive we have somewhere here like that they are forming a bullish signal they are forming a bullish signal like that and if you're not seeing a small time frame for interday 
um, we are bouncing off uh, moving average so 50 but uh, for intraday uh, okay if price drop and uh, near moving average 100 uh, price uh, uh, price will be here 8 uh, 90 so I can go for buy and I'll close somewhere here all right because they are bouncing off 100 exponential moving average all right but in this area I'm not interested to enter in this market all right okay next uh, Hindalco let's see Hindalco okay okay is it a hindalco yeah this is the hindalco okay this one hindalco uh daily time frame first check daily time frame okay okay now i can see in a daily time frame price broke this previous higher point have you seen it they broke this and today close above previous high point and in that case what i'll do i'll use a uh, breakout trading strategy or uh, impulse pullback all right now i can see here yeah, what is the meaning of that so here you can see price broke in this area and that was our buy anti but if you miss so you just wait for a pullback all right how market run so like this is the resistance once price break this area again pull back to this area now it's becoming a support so that is our buy opportunity like that here and they broke this resistance line and uh, here you can see we are looking for a pullback and after that we need a bullish confirmation above this supporting line that would be our buy opportunity all right don't enter blindly we need a uh, proper entry point next tata motor so we are discussing tata motors last few days about that because uh, they um, tata motors yeah okay and i can see in a daily time frame that tata motors are, are creating higher high and higher low higher high and higher low and today they form a bullish candle but uh, price still overbought zone and in that case what i'll do for interday i'm looking for buy after breaking this area now i can see how they are running uh, they are bouncing off bouncing off and right now price are overbought but for interday uh, we have seen this is a bullish uh, candlestick pattern so means I'm looking for buy and in this area I'll apply breakout trading strategy so what is the meaning of that okay let's jump to 15 minute time frame and let's see here okay means breakout trading strategy means I'm looking for a candle who is this open and close should be above three four one all right open and close should be but i'm not talking about lower point lower point maybe like that a higher point maybe like that but i need a open and close should be above this point all right in a small time frame like 15 minute every 15 minute candle so once they appear this candle what i'll do i'll place my buy order at least uh, 50 cent above that closing candle all right if price goes up so uh, my uh, buy order will trigger so i'll apply this strategy here okay next uh i'm talking about cement 28 000 servers we don't need uh, we need uh what is called jsw steel this w steel okay this one 
okay all moving all yeah same uh, here you can see I'm expecting it will give a correction if price sustain above this area so definitely I'll go for buy and I need a pullback here all right near moving average because they are bouncing up 20 20 20 and we need a, a pullback so most of the people are entering it's a big mistake don't do that you just wait and just wait for a bullish confirmation so later you will just uh, you enter uh, another buzzers finance 10,000 okay leave it airtel Bharti airtel let's see uh, Bharti airtel okay this one mm, daily time frame Mm. Now, Bharti Airtel, I don't want to enter here. Uh, okay. I don't want to enter here uh, in Bharti Airtel. So, let me tell you why I'm not looking for buy. Mm, see, this is the resistance line somewhere here. Like that. Alright. Uh, this is the resistance. This is the multiple rejection point, rejection, rejection, and the final here. I can see rejection, rejection, and exactly near this resistance line, we have seen long wick candle. Have you seen? This is called long wick candle. This one. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, have you seen long wick candle? All right. So, and why I'm not looking for buy in Bharti Airtel? Uh, let's see daily time frame in a daily time frame uh, what we have seen here let me zoom a little more than it comes to know all right uh, this line uh, raised 10 line and this is a diagonal raised 10 line and then let me show you something here so we have seen price creating a new higher high and higher low have you seen have you make sense all right Price are creating higher high and higher low and let's see RSI and I connect these two high points so what do we have seen here now RSI showing divergence have you make sense all right so it is a probability to give a correction of pullback now big question most of the people are thinking hey can I go for short here no still we are not getting any sell signal okay so most of the people are not able to control their emotion and enter somewhere here like that they're doing big mistake now uh, if it is not a sell opportunity then where is my sell opportunity that is another question okay let me show you in that case we need a we need two confirmation okay first confirmation we have seen price are diverging all right according to price action method and rsi uh, indicator so later i need another confirmation uh, that is called trend line breakout so i am connect most recent swing point where is the most recent swing point somewhere here have you seen this one uh, swing low swing low and a swing low and we drawn a horizon uh, sorry diagonal trend line so now you can see right now price are diverging and here you can see this is the supporting line so once they break the supporting line that would be my sale opportunity remember okay and there's a probability to retest this 200 exponential moving average this one 200 exponential moving average why is it important so if you want to see previous market behavior price are bouncing of 20 bouncing of 20 act as a resistance in this area and in this area act as a support means uh airtel price are following 20, 200 exponential moving average so uh, that is why we are looking for short after breaking this supporting line to the near 200 exponential moving average all right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this uh, video please uh, like and subscribe 
and if you wanna read more details about market you just visit our website called Elias Blue Market Talk so thanks for watching